Hi guys, this is Isa from Princeton and welcome to my October Plan With Me video. So in this video, I will show you how I change and update my planner cover. If you've seen my previous videos, you saw how I created all of this page. I added my planner cover with some text. Then I added my widget on this area that if you remember, I mentioned that I was going to update these. So for example, from these goals, I got uh, these two done. But the first one I didn't get done, so I'm gonna move it on to my new cover. And this time I want to show you how you can change the entire layout of this page to make it match the colors of this season. So for that, I'm actually gonna bring up my full bundle. I have a whole other video uh, showing exactly everything that's included here. I will leave that in a link down below. But what I want from this bundle is these papers. So I will show you in a second how we're gonna use those. And you can do this with any other digital paper that you have, that you purchase online or that you make yourself. You can import it into GoodNotes and you will be able to use it this same way. All right, so the very, very first thing I'm going to do is save this page. So this is my front page and it will always be my front page because I have all of my links over here. And remember that this is a page that when I click on this top link on any page, I'm gonna go back here. So I will modify this page. However, I want to keep a copy just, you know, because I like seeing how my month went. So I want to keep a copy for myself. So to do that, go to your squares in the top left corner, up there click on edit select that cover page by tapping on it then on the bottom left click on copy and when it's done hit undone now I'm gonna keep it right at the end of my planner so I'm gonna scroll all the way down you can keep it whatever you want you can even make up a section in your planner that says past covers or extra layouts or whatever you want but I'm gonna leave it at the end so I'm gonna click on the plus sign on the top left and right after the very last page, I'm gonna click on that plus sign again and then click on paste copied pages. And that created a copy of my first page. So this is safe and I can modify the other one without risking losing what I created here. So I'm gonna go back to that first page by clicking on this first link on my buttons here. Okay, so I will change this purple background. I'll turn it into a background that works for fall. So really I can get rid of everything for now. All of these elements, I'm just gonna delete them, especially because I have that copy that I just created. So I can go back and grab something if I need it. So for now, just select everything with the lasso tool, tap on your selection and click on delete and everything is gone. All right, next we're going to go to the fall bundle and I want to use this paper with the pumpkins as my background. OK, so again, with my lasso tool, I'm going to go around this section of the paper, trying to make the selection as big as I can so I can use more of the paper. Then click on take screenshot, tap on this export arrow on the top right corner of this window and select copy. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my planner and this is my first page, I have nothing, but that's okay. Now tap and hold on the screen, click on paste. And now I have a little bit of background or of this digital paper. And obviously this is a lot smaller than my page. And if I grow it, it kind of fills up a bigger area of the page, but not enough. So what I do is I deselect. Now it has the height that I need. And now I can just select with my lasso tool, copy, tap and hold again, click on paste. And now I have more paper, kind of like a wallpaper, so I can keep building my pattern. Okay, now to make it seamless, just bring this pattern to whatever it matches with the other shapes. So just move it around and you will see where that is. Okay, I'm gonna deselect. As you can see, the buttons here are blocked now and I don't want that. So I'm gonna grab this again and move it a little bit more because I want to be able to see these buttons over here. So just move it a bit more and make it fit and deselect. 
and if you feel like this is like too close or something you can just select both of these and then move them to the left because in good notes it doesn't matter if you push the paper out of the work area it's just gonna like be cut off and it's okay it doesn't affect in anything so you can move them out if your new paper is taking too much of this space all right and lastly make another copy paste it and then just try again to put it where it goes in accordance with the rest of the design and now here we're gonna have a little issue I'll fix it in a second but just leave it there so again here it's kind of blocking my button so I'm just gonna grab all of these because I will now treat them as a single piece okay so if I bring it up, as you can see, there's a space now that is created at the bottom. To fix that, I can just tap with my pencil on my selection and click on resize. And now it's kind of hard because it's big already, but with these dots, I can make it a little bit bigger and I can like rearrange to where it looks better. And now if it's so big that you cannot deselect, just open another one of your tabs and it's gonna automatically deselect. Cool, so you got your very own full background with pumpkins and you still have access to all of your links. It gets a little tricky because this is an image, so if I use my lasso tool, I'm gonna be selecting the image. So as I add different widgets or my cover, etc., it's gonna be an image on top of an image and it gets a little bit confusing, but you can still do it. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to look for a cover, so clicking on the last button from this first section so this one right here that's gonna take me to the very last section of my planner and that's where my covers start and for this specific page I want to use I think the yellow cover so just select it copy it go back to my front page tap and hold click on paste and now if you remember from my previous videos if you try to rotate at this size good notes like grows the image and it's gonna be a real mess so I'm just gonna make it smaller I'm gonna bring it to the area where I don't have the background okay you'll see in a minute why then tap and hold on that cover click on edit and as you can see it grew so here I can rotate it kind of like put it where I think I want it, see the way it looks, see how rotated I want it. Maybe you wanna place it on this side, something like that. But no, I want it on this side, just like the previous cover I had. And the size doesn't matter, it's gonna change anyway. But before you deselect, just bring it back to this corner where there's no pumpkin background. I'm gonna bring it lower a little bit. Now deselect. And of course this becomes smaller again. This is an issue that happens with good notes. So we just have to do this little trick to be able to select the cover. Because if I had left this up here, then I would not be able to select it with my lasso tool. And as you can see, tapping and holding and resizing this way is not accurate. That's why you need your lasso tool. And in order for this to work, you need this to be anywhere that does not ha already have an image on the background i hope this makes sense but um if you just try it out you'll see you'll see what i'm talking about so now i make a selection with my lasso tool click on resize and this time whatever size i pick is the actual size that will stay so this month i think i don't want as many widgets and things i want it simpler so i'm just gonna keep it over there even if i have no room for widgets at the bottom that's all right so when you're happy with your selection deselect all right now i want to label this with the word october i will go to my graphic app and i'm gonna add some text by clicking on this t in my toolbar now double tab I'm gonna write down October, but I want a different font. So select this text and then where it says the name of the font, in this case, this is lazy hand, then tap there. And then I'm gonna look for the one I want, which is this one. Perfect. Now I wanna make it a little bit bigger because if you make it bigger, then it's just gonna be better quality when you paste on your planner. So I'm making this box smaller just to like already have the image kind of cropped to the edges. If I have this box super huge, then all of this section here will be part of the image, part of the sticker, which again, you can crop out in GoodNotes, but this is just like a thing that I like doing when setting up my stickers directly in graphic. 
All right, so now I want to change this color to like a dark, dark brown. So I can choose that brown to start and then a little bit darker. Then what I'll do, I'm gonna, actually this brown that you're looking at, this word is gonna be like the shadow of the other word that I will create in a second. So I'm gonna click on my clip on the top left, click on copy, paste in place. So I created a copy and pasted it exactly on top of the previous one. So if I move this out, you're going to see that I have two copies. I'm going to click on the back arrow to bring it back to place. And then by tapping on this circle that has the color on the bottom of the toolbar, I can see the color that is selected that I selected previously. And now I would just want to make it a little bit lighter, more like an orange, maybe somewhere around there. And next I will just select the top layer. And I just want to move it slightly so that the bottom layer works as a shadow kind of. You can also play with the size a little tiny bit and I think that looks nice. So now we're ready to copy this title and paste it on our planner. So with your first arrow selected, the first icon in your toolbar on the left side, tap and drag across the screen and that will select both of the words. So both of the images that you just created. Then click on your clip, copy, go to your planner, tap and hold, click on paste. And there we have our title. Now I want to rotate it so that it matches the angle that I set for my planner. So just by dragging this green dot, you can do that. And then just place it whatever you think it looks best. I think I like it something like that. Deselect. Perfect. Now I just want to add a tiny bit more of decoration. So I'm going to go back to my fall stickers. And this time, let me go find the Thanksgiving section. I saw something here that I think I can use. Actually, this is the one. I like this. It has all these vegetables and things that remind me of fall. Copy that. Then go to my planner. Tap and hold. Click on paste. And I want to grow this image a little bit. And I do want to rotate it. So again, you have to bring it to the area with no background. Make it a little bit smaller. Tap and hold. Click on edit. Now you can rotate it as you need. Bring it back to the area with no background and deselect. Now select it with your lasso tool. Resize. And now you can place it where you want it. I think I'm just going to keep it here as a small decoration. I'm going to go back to my stickers and actually I want to add some of these leaves. I think that I can use them to cover the edges here of my paper. So rotate it. Okay, and now with these I can cover like these sharp edges. Make a little bit smaller, I think around there. And I have another sticker, this longer one. I think it can work to cover the top edge. So this one has to be bigger, I think. Something like that. This one can grow a little bit as well. Maybe like that. Because even if they're covering the links slightly, as long as I can see them, I can always tap on them. Nice. So now it's even more like fall and I like this effect where it looks like this paper is hiding the original cover or something. All right, next I'm gonna go back to my previous cover because I wanted to find the things that I didn't get done and I actually want to move them to this month. So I think the only things I'm gonna keep from this design is like my note with the main goals and a month. So I'm gonna go back to my widgets. I'm gonna find my calendar of October right here, copy it, and then go back to my new page right here, click on paste. I want it a little bigger, somewhere maybe there. I think I'm gonna have the calendar down here and I'm gonna have my notes up there. We'll see how it looks. Then go to my widgets again and I want to change the color of that little note that I had. So let me keep looking. We can do this yellow post-it note right here. So copy it, tap and hold, click on paste and resize it. I think I want the calendar smaller. So to do that, I'm gonna click on it, like long tap on it, edit, move it down a little bit. Now resize and I'll place back where I think I want it. Also, this note can be smaller. So again, bring it down a little bit, resize it. 
if it gets too hard to like place your image that you're resizing in this area because this area is not big at all and now you actually also have these other stickers that we just added with the leaves you can always you know copy your elements to another blank page in the planner with no images added and then you can arrange your your whole thing over there for example what i would do is I can go to my this page, I can make a copy of this whole page, get rid of this planner and then I have all this area to arrange my widgets and my stickies and everything I want and once they're all fixed I go back to my other page that has the background and I can paste everything here. They are all set to the exact positions that I want so I don't have to worry about oh I'm changing my mind, I want to change the size etc. So I recommend you do that because once you have so many images layered together it's kind of hard to move them around, resize them and change your mind. So just be aware that you can create a new page in your planner that is completely blank. You can design over there and then just copy everything with your lasso tool and bring it over to this page on top of the background that you created all right guys so this is how my cover of my planner is looking for october i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up to let me know don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new digital planning video thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye